So previously we have covered tax, but we didn't quite cover the fear factor. Fear factor is a mechanic many of us probably ignored, but let's see how much value you can actually gain from them. And as you might already know fear factor does three things. It changes your popularity. It changes the efficiency of your workers. And lastly it buffs or debuffs your troops depending on the active fear factor. I won't be covering popularity because we have already talked about it a little bit in the tax video. But first let's see how much effect it has on your economy. Starting with no fear factor, I did a 5 minute simulation for reach fear factor and here are the results. On no fear factor I got almost 1000 bread, almost 600 stone, and 82 iron, which is 10,000 gold in total. On negative fear factor the bread production went through the roof, after 5 minutes I got 1750 bread, almost 850 stone and 118 iron, which is 5500 more gold than no fear factor, sounds insane doesn't it? It's more than 50% extra efficiency. And lastly there's the positive fear factor, now your building placement really matters on this one so I really tried to make it fair but I don't think I could do it. But anyway in the end I got 529 bread, 420 stone, and 68 iron. Which is almost 3500 less gold than having no fear factor. Now it's pretty safe to say negative fear factor should be prioritized over tax if you're looking to improve your economy, and also positive fear factor hurts your economy too much and most of the time it's not worth it for tax. Could be worth it on maximum player advantage though. But anyway we need to cover one more thing, and that is the troop bonus. Of course you can just destroy all the negative fear factor whenever you want to fight, but let's take a look at this first. This is based on how much gold we made in those simulations, positive fear factor gets 84 units, and negative gets 196, it's really obvious who's gonna win so let's just enjoy the battle. Oh no. Looks like the tables have turned. Seriously I didn't expect them to win either, double army size was too much. And should I remind you that you can just switch your fear factor during a game. Positive fear factor on units is too good. So as you can see both fear factors are good in correct situations. One thing worth mentioning is that the fear factor only affect damage, not health. Anyway I hope this answered your fear factor questions. And of course, I misjudged negative fear factor on my building tier list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more videos like this please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. A message from the pig. You die! I'll skin you alive! <laughs> Myself! <laughs>